Hello, my name is Tobias Svenstam and I'm a team member in Team Abu Garcia Sweden. And when it comes to pike fishing, the Abu Garcia Svartsjonker Mac Hybrid is one of my favorite lures. I've caught huge pikes on this lure. And uh, we're actually going to have a contest. In your local store, you're going to be able to buy these Abu Garcia Svartsjonker Mac Hybrid lure blanks. And the contest, it consists of uh, that if you have a lure blank, you can paint it yourself. Then you upload your photo and you will enter the contest where you can win a fishing trip together with the maker of this bait. And that is Klaas himself, Klaas Svartsjonker Klaasen. Uh, and you don't only get to fish with Klaas, uh, the winning lure color will also get reproduced and uh, sold in the stores in the coming spring. And today I'm going to show you how to paint a lure yourself. I made thousands of lures myself and as a kid when I started making lures I just used ordinary spray cans and uh, I bought three different colors yesterday at my local car dealership and I also bought a sealant uh, that will uh, keep the color on the bait uh, so the pikes don't bite off the color as easily. And these spray cans, they are very easy to use, they are cheap and it's very simple to get into lure making or painting your own lures. So hang on and I'll show you how to paint your own McHybrid blank. And the color that I'm going to paint today is sort of a parrot color. And this was the color that I used when I caught my first pike over 10 kilo on a homemade bay. So this color, it's very effective and it means a lot to me since um, it was my first really successful color that I made. The first thing you need to do is to thread the lure onto a steel wire or somehow fixate it so that you can spray on the lure without getting color on your fingertips. In my parrot color, I'm going to use red, metallic green and yellow. And you have to think which color is the dominant one. And the, the most subtle colors is the one that you place first. So I'm going to place yellow on the belly. I'm going to place red on the side and I'm going to top it off with some green on the back and you have to do it in that order because green is stronger than uh, the red and red is stronger than the yellow so if you were to put on the colors uh, in the opposite order it wouldn't look that good on the bait okay so to start things off make sure that your bait is completely dry it should also be free of fat so you should not take on the bait with your fingers uh, before you paint it if you do that you have to wash it uh, so that the paint will stick onto the lure body. And then I'm going to take my first spray can. I'm going to use the color yellow now on the belly. So the first thing you do is to mix up the paint in the spray can. And then you just have to spray the belly and a little bit of the sides on this lure. And uh, you should not spray too far away and not too close. And uh, the thing that's problematic with a spray can is that when you press, uh, when you press over here and you start spraying, all the paint comes at once. So you really have to be quick and you have to know what you're going to paint because uh, it's very unforgiving, this spray can. And uh, I'm going to show you at what distance and how I used to spray with this. The distance is good, the spray can is uh, prepared, so let's try it out. Let's give the lure a short burst. Okay, now we have put on the first layer of jello, and one thing that's very important is to not spray too much at once because then the color will start 
pouring on the lower blank body and I, uh, I've already got like a small drop of paint there. Um, but I'm just going to let this lure hang for, you know, five minutes and then we're going to continue painting it with another additional layer of jello before we will paint the sides red. Um, today it's very humid and it's raining uh, at my house and uh, I have a little special trick. I have this little heater and uh, I heat the lures for a few minutes each time I spray coat it because when it's heated the paint dry up faster and uh, yeah I can speed up this whole painting progress uh, but you should really be careful not to spray too much at once because then you will get a very bad result but heating will help you a lot okay I painted up both of my lure blanks with the jello bellies and now we're going to add some red on the sides of the baits and uh, when you're going to paint the red you need to take the spray can and you hold the bait in front of you and the belly of the lure should be uh, facing away from you so when you spray red on the sides the paint won't stick onto the belly and you don't have to spray on the back because the back is going to be green so just gently spray the sides red and if you like a darker red you can spray like two times as we did on the belly if you want a more lighter red with some yellow that might shine through it then you can just spray like one time gently on the side i'm going to go with spraying the side of the lure just one time and i'm going to try and add some more deeper red on the back and just some lighter red which goes towards orange towards the belly so let's try adding some red and let's try to be very light on the hand and make it as smooth and nice looking as possible Okay, just added some red. Uh, I think this bait is starting to look beautiful. Now we need to let it dry and then we're gonna add some green on the back. When you're painting a lure and you want something like stripes or scales on the lure, one very common method is to use a template. And I'm going to use a template to make some stripes on my parrot lure. And I'm just going to take ordinary paper and I take a pair of scissors and then I'm going to cut out uh, pieces of the paper and when I place the paper onto the lure and apply paint on the lure there will be some surfaces that will be uh, uh, hidden from the paint so they won't get uh, any paint on them and uh, that's the basic way of uh, painting a lure with a pattern I'll show you Just fold up the pieces of the paper that you want to cut away where uh, you want the paint to stick to the lure. And uh, now I've made myself a very simple stripe pattern. So let me show you how to use it. Okay, so what you need to do is to place your lure on a smooth surface and then you add the template. And uh, since I want the back green, uh, I hide like the belly and the, the, the uh, path towards the belly with the template so they don't accidentally get any green color on them. And I'm just going to try and fit in the template just a little bit. I don't think that the template has to be really close to the lure because then uh, it, all the lines they become a little more subtle and I think that looks nice when the template is just a little bit uh, from the lure and I think that uh, probably something like this is going to look good 
we're going to take the green color and at first we're just going to dust the lure. So we're just going to make these stripes, then we will remove the template and uh, the last thing we will do is to paint the back solid green. Okay, let's start spray painting. Let's do these nice stripes. And now remove the template very smooth, like that. That's a very nice looking pattern, I think. Now we're going to let this bait dry and then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. You can either use the same, same template if you let it dry or you can just cut yourself a new one. Okay, the stripes are complete. I think they uh, are very beautiful. The bait is looking very good. And uh, now we're gonna take this green can again and we're gonna just color the back to make it a parrot. And uh, that's actually the final phase of the coloring of this bait. One of the last things to do is to pick eyes for your bait. Either you could take something like nail polish or any color that you like and you paint the eyes. But if you go to a tackle shop, you can uh, often find eyes, which is in the form of stickers. And uh, I have a lot of different stickers, uh, sticker eyes here in this box. So I'm just going to dig around a bit and see what kind of color I like. Often, I think that's these uh, chartreuse colored eyes are looking very good, especially in this 3D form. So maybe I'll pick an eye like that. I think red eyes are looking good as well on most baits. So I'm just going to dig around, see what I find. And when the paint dry up on the baits, it's time to attach the eyes. And if you really want them to stick, just add some super glue underneath them but uh, they'll stick pretty good as well with just the glue that I have on them together with the sealant that we're going to put atop on the color. Okay, just look at these baits. I think they're looking beautiful, both of them. And uh, I think I'm going to go with this silver 3D eyes on them. So let's just attach them to the baits and then head over to the final phase. Now it's time to clear coat the baits. This is a clear coat that's used together with the paint. Like if you use this paint on a car, then you finish it off with the clear coat to help protecting the color. You can use the same kind of clear coat on the lures. If you want a really strong clear coat, you should go for something like an epoxy clear coat or something like that. But those kind of coats are much harder to put on the baits. And I'm going to do a small special thing while I'm clear coating this bait. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is putting on the clear coat. The second thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to add some glitter. This is just uh, ordinary glitter that you can find in any sort of uh, hobby store. And uh, I got this glitter from Klaus Watschonker himself once and he gave it to me in a plastic glove like this and uh, I've chosen to use uh, copper glitter because I think copper glitter will look very good on this sort of uh, fiery but a little murky parrot color. I think it really will give that little bit of shine into the water. Uh, so let's just spray the lure with a clear coat and then dust some glitter on top of it and I'm sure that it's going to look absolutely beautiful and I'm going to clear coat these baits a few times like maybe three times four times or something like that but as I said this is not the strongest coat but it's perfectly fine for regular pike fishing if you are uh, yeah if you just want to make your own lure with the most easiest method but if you're going to make a lure that will last for hundreds of fish you should go with a epoxy coat.
Okay, fellow anglers, now this lure blank is complete. It's a parrot color. I got some like gold copper glitter on top of it. I clear coated it and uh, I would say it looks pretty nice. I think it will fish very good. And the last thing I'm going to do is to attach the rubber tail onto the back of this lure. For this big lure blank, I'll take the paddle tail I think the pedal tail will work just fine on this lure and uh, you can buy spare pedal tails at your store if you want some other kind of color but uh, just look at this lure doesn't it look very very good I'm very much looking forward to going fishing with this lure uh, on my next pike session because parrot is one of my favorite autumn colors and uh, I want to challenge all of you that have watched this video clip. Go buy yourself your own Obergesia Svartsjonke Mac Hybrid Lure Blank. Create your own color and read the description of this video to participate in the contest. And maybe you will be the one who get your color reproduced for sales in the stores and get to fish with Klaus Svartsjonke himself. Good luck to all of you.